Go. Okay, uh, we're going to finish up with this final car. This is my personal vehicle, and this is probably going to be the worst case scenario for, for the stealth guy driving a metallic silver large sedan. You know, isn't the most consistent with that, but nonetheless, uh, this is my vehicle, and it is silver, so this is the reality. This is the vehicle that we're going to have to work with, and the fact of the matter is, there are plenty of cars out there that are not going to be dark. But, uh, you know, one thing I would say if you're really interested in stealth, obviously, a darker car, whatever shape, whatever size. Be better than a lighter car, and certainly having I mean, silver metallic. I know some people believe that white is the worst color. Uh, I argue, I uh, think that the metallic silvers and the metallic champagnes are actually worse because uh, the metallic paint has a bunch of little fleck little mirrors in effect in here. <coughs> and what they all do is they're big reflectors. So uh, I think we're going to see a lot of hot spots on this car. And uh, as you say, you pick silver vehicles for a reason. Uh, or white vehicles when you do your GOL tests, and there's a reason for that because uh, they are the difficult, most difficult to effectively jam, as well as even stealth. So, you know, some people may earn, earn, earnestly make a mistake to think that, uh, you know, they treat the vehicle that's a light color as a big shape. Like this is a lot of vertical surface here, and these are all little mirrors here. Uh, so they all will, will do their job here, but you know, there's still the car. So in particular cases like this, and we've said this uh, from day one that you know, on a large metallic silver or a white vehicle, it may veil in and of itself may not give you the protection that, that you want. I think in most cases, you'll be able to slow down depending on the distance that they initially target with. But if you get closer, you know, you're going to have punch through. There's no, there's no two ways about that. So uh, I think we're going to find a lot of hot spots with this vehicle. Uh, so why don't we go into uh, IR and uh, see what it looks like under IR. Cool. Okay, we're under IR here, and uh, Steve, uh, tell me what you see. Here. Oh. In front of your, uh, if you move towards the front by your headlights, uh, right, like towards, like, move down a little bit, down, down. Move your right hand down. My right hand. Yeah, a little bit more, right, like right there. Yeah, you're covering up. Yeah, right, yeah, right there. Yeah. This is the same thing I think you saw with your vehicle. Yeah, right there. That spot. There's one spot. Like just yeah, right there. You're right on it right now. Okay. Yeah. This is the, right at the curvature of the. Uh, of the lens helmet. So again, state may really be onto something. It, it, you, know, you really want to go that far. If you have a jammer, you may not need to, but if you're doing veil only, it may really be worth it to, to take the housings off or really at least get the hood up and make sure you get all the edges and corners of, of, of your headlight housing. Yeah. How's the rest of the car look? How's the actual uh, bumper look? Uh, all, around the curvatures, there's like, it's yeah. really. That's right. what it is. That's where you get your reflectivity pretty much in yeah. some of those things, those hot spots. If you, see, if you do uh, stoop down a little bit and get down low and try to hit straight on to the, to the bumper area or to the lower area down here, do you see when you get the illuminator from that angle, that, did you see more of the bumper reflecting? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, especially around the curvature. Yeah, that, 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 these are the hot spots on that. Some of these are going to be unavoidable. So in a car like this, Veil will only take you so far. Oh. So, you know, here's, this is a perfect example of why a jammer uh, would probably be recommended and why certainly why I've done one with this vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, your right, curvatures are, are killers. How about the emblem? And your stickers. Oh, your, yeah, your emblem, yeah, that's. It's, it's coming up a little bit. It's on the way, so it's from the yeah. angle. So yeah. I don't know if that'll really hurt you too much. How about lower here in the lower area here? Where these so around your curvatures. The, curvatures, yeah. okay. And then, yeah, and then your stickers are whoa <laughs> on the yeah, side of your car, here? and then on the side of your car to the, to the uh, to passenger side. Oh yeah, well, they're not gonna yeah. No, how about the rear view? How about the side view mirror there on the uh, passenger side? Uh, yeah, you got some hot spots by your side view mirrors. Yeah, you do. Okay, you remember when we did our first? Uh, when you know where we know where that? I guide you to them. Okay, yeah. So you where? Which part? You know, go um, forward, like right around there. Here. Yeah. Okay. Remember one time when we did the first yes. thing we did, and I put a black shirt on it. Yes. And then, and I think it could have been with a blinder yeah. and the veil, and then the numbers dropped considerably. Mm -hmm. There you can see it. A black shirt got rid of the uh, got rid of the reflector. Yeah. And this is a metallic uh, silver as well. So, like on your wife's car, as you saw, you had a black, and a lot of SUVs have that black plastic. So I don't think they're going to be killed with it. As you can see, even here, you're getting hot spots, and if the laser's got, got line of sight on that, it's going to hurt you. And on your windshield, that sticker, that www. Dot, this, yeah, I, okay. very reflective. Interesting, but I'm hoping, just like the other one, even though you're seeing it, you're a little higher up, yeah. you know, from
from without yeah. being aware of falling on your feet, you're going to be lower down. If you, if you step down, if stoop down a little bit again, yeah. you're standing. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Sorry. Yeah. If you get down lower, does this go get darker? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't think you really have to worry about stuff way, way up here or an easy pass or anything up here, even a radar attack or anything up here. And I'll tell you where else you're real hot. Worse. Come to the front by your headlights. Okay. Um, move your, your left hand down. Okay. A little bit higher. Run to to uh to your left. Left right run down, down, down. Right around that area. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Uh here? No, left. Left here. Left up, up, up. Right around that area, yeah. Yeah, well, this is interesting because this is the natural, this is the curve, this is the uh, crease of the hood itself, so you can see. Yeah, that whole entire point. area, if you go and if you follow it down to the left, yeah, all around, keep going, keep going left, 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 all around there is like really hot. Okay, so that hurts you. And now with a black car or a non metallic vehicle, I don't, I wouldn't expect that you can see those, all hoods have curvature around the headlight houses. But you can see a, a uh, metallic uh, paint has their little mirrors in here in effect. So that's going to hurt you. So and if it, you're in the game of stealth, don't get a metallic vehicle. Now go down with your left hand. Down, 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 down. Left, 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 left. Keep going left, left. down. Right around there, yeah. That air, what's really yeah. bright there, really so this, bright. Now this is a, uh, this is a, was this, a concave curvature. So these are wow. flared. So this hurts me. Wow, this car. So the jammer of the zero four is up here, and I got the veil here. Yeah. And you can see that it's going to be done. I don't have a five. I do have a five. Lane. Half yeah. a five. Lane. No, that's fine. See, so the veil's taking care of that. But here, you're seeing hot spots. That's going to hurt you. So that's why we get the higher uh, punch throughs Jeez. on on a vehicle with a veil or with a jammer. Because it's the same phenomenon whether you're running veil or not veil, and you're running a jammer only. These are all the points that the laser guns are going to be able to see. These hot spots, is, and it's going to pick that up from a distance, and then it's going to build a picture, and then be able to get your reading. So, uh, again, you know. It, you know where else is. I see? You know where else I see? If you if you go to your uh, follow your headlight. What, this one. Yeah, follow it. Go to the left, left. Go all the way around, 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 around. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Back, 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 back. Go on. Yeah. Okay. I show you what. There's a real hot spot. Nope. Here? Right there, yeah, that area there. Well, this is a sticker. Okay. All right. So now, now you're on an angle a little bit. Yeah. You know? Now, on, you know, on a rubber pass on an angle, that would maybe play a role. Yeah. But you know, on a straight ahead shot, this would likely be a way again, just like the the white uh, stickers up on the top. And I, I see another hot spot too. Go back to your front. Okay. Okay. Down. Go all the way down. Okay. To the to uh to your right. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right around that, keep going a little bit more. Right around that area, yeah. Curvature again. Jeez. Yeah, and you know, this is interesting. When we went to SML a couple years ago, we had that black Viper, and I yeah. thought it was gonna be pretty stealth. But the Viper also had, even though it was black, it had the same kind of curvature to some of its, uh, uh, you know, grill work or whatever you wanna call this, the fascia work of the bumper. Jeez. And you can see, you can- Yeah, this car is deadly. <laughs> but you saw, you know, with some of the numbers, we can do pretty well with the veil. And a jammer, uh, yeah. particularly on these videos. Yeah, so. it's, it's a very, yeah, any jammer that can do well in this car, it's impressive. Okay. Very good.